hello 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 it is that time it is that time it is that time so i had planned to start my back to school campaign in the beginning of august but to be honest with you like i don't know we've just been kind of enjoying our summer we're not starting school until like second maybe third week of september so we're just like kind of chilling getting in our summer groove just really enjoying things enjoying each other we still have just a little bit of school here and there it's not very long at all actually my kids make it a lot longer than what it has to be but i digress anyway first grade curriculum choices so jeremiah and kelsey have successfully passed kindergarten and now are on to first grade so we are using horizons you should know that by now we love horizons so the first Oh, there's a glare. <laughs> the Horizons Phonics and Reading. This is book one. So now we're transitioning from four books to two. Okay, so look at the thickness of this. And remember, the kindergarten is half of that. So it's the same amount of um, work, still 160 lessons. Let's see. Yeah, still 160 lessons total, but um, it's just divided up into two books. I didn't really understand why they did it. I'm assuming that, you know, they felt a kindergartner would be overwhelmed with um, the two book or how thick the book was, I guess. I don't know, but I didn't really get all this stuff organized, but anyway so here is book two okay and then of course it comes with two readers the fox in the box and the stories they're you know i'm thinking my kids should be able to read these by now because with the kindergarten ones they are reading those pretty well and i'm really really proud of my kids and how far they've come along um, I see the first reader, but it's like, where is the second reader? This very much concerns me. Or maybe it was just one reader. Weird. Anyway, I'll get back to you guys about that. No, it has to be. Oh, reader two was green. It was sitting here the whole time. <laughs> okay. And, um, so yeah, it's just good stories that the kids, they'll be able to read. I believe they will be able to read. I mean, I didn't think Jerry and Kelsey would be able to read um, those little readers, but when I started seeing that they were able to um, work in their kindergarten book and read, you know, what the little sentences would say, I was like, let me start allowing them to read. And I did it, no teaching sight words. I do not teach sight words. Just a lot of repetition. And what else do we have? My babies are gonna be doing spelling and vocabulary. Um, it's the same as with Mr. Elijah, 160 lessons, but for one week, it's five lessons in one week. So with them, I am gonna have to start learning some strategies because I don't want them to have to do too much copy work. And to be honest with you, I don't think I want Elijah doing all that copy work either because like right now it's just a few words, but soon they're gonna have to like write a lot of words. So sample lesson. But this is stuff they can sound out, okay? And then we have Oh, and I do have the teacher's books as well for everything. I always have teacher's books because they usually always have some type of um, extra worksheets. And this is the one for reading. Yeah, they usually always have some type of um, supplemental worksheets and activities to kind of reinforce what they've been learning. And then we have the spelling and vocabulary dictionary, which do not underestimate this dictionary because they have a lot of words. You know, Horizons, they like they take it to the old school. And that's why I like them so much. 
And you know, with the kids, don't assume your children know what these words mean. Because Elijah was having some difficulties. I just assumed that he knew like the first or second lesson. And so when it came to the actual activities in the um, book, so you have these little activities and you need to know what these words mean. And he's like, he couldn't do it. And I'm like, oh, he doesn't know what these words mean. So I, don't re I didn't really have him. See, this is a sample activity. This is for the first book though. Um, I, I didn't, I, we would just talk about the words and what they meant. I didn't really have him write it, you know, but that's okay. He's got it. And then we have math book one. Lots of colors. This is why I love Horizon. It's going to catch kids' attention. Someone said that this Horizon was like equal to a Becca and I'm like, yeah, because of the colorful pictures, anything else is like, no, it's not. And look at these beautiful pictures. Oh my goodness. Your children are going to enjoy it. Let me see. <laughs> no, no, I'm going to cut that out. Anyway, so yeah, it's, <laughs> this is one thing I love about Horizons is um, <laughs> we can like, there are times we have good days and we have bad days and we have regular days but sometimes like jeremiah might give me a hard time and he's not going to do work sometimes i can convince him can you just do one page of the lesson because the lessons look at how easily divided up they are this is one lesson on two pages there's been a time where um he's okay with just doing okay can you just do number one and he's like, yes, mom, I can do number one. I mean, granted, because I know a lot of people are like, oh no, my children, if they don't want to do it, they just don't. Cool, in a fan. <laughs> but with me, I just try to exhaust all resources first. Like, I can count on one hand in the past two years that um, Jeremiah has just simply refused to do something. If I kind of break it down, he would just be more okay with it you know jerry is my son that every day can we have a day off today every day he will ask that but once you get him going and working he's enjoying himself he's happy he's in a good mood but there are times where he's just not feeling it and when that's the case i will say you know what just do number one and then there's been other times after dinner i'm like hey you know you want to finish up that math lesson and just be done with it yeah and then miss kelsey of course she's like she's gonna do all her work and some. It is very typical for Kelsey to, um, she's gonna do an entire lesson. And like this whole page, half of lesson two. So that's Miss Kelsey. Oh, and this is book two, by the way. Book one, let me just show you, cause some people are like, oh, I don't think my first grader can do that. No, 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 no. Okay. We're just, they're going to bring you back to basics. And that's okay. That's why I like them so much. Also, I would like to address what I just saw in another homeschool video this morning. This lady was doing a math comparison. Now, I have no intentions on changing my kids' math whatsoever, but I do like to see what's out there and, you know, and what other moms think about it. But she did tell me that she felt, she did a, um, a review on Horizon Kindergarten. And in her opinion, she felt that it, it makes your kids dependent on a number line, but that's not true. Number line in um, addition, it is okay. Book one and well, both books, there are number lines, but book two, they gradually break you away from using a number line. I don't know why, I, because the only book, like her book one was very much used and I can tell her kid had been working in it, but when she showed book two, it looked brand new. So I don't think she has used book two yet, but with book two, they do gradually take you away from use of the number line. Actually, let me go grab the book and I'll show you what I So you're gonna use this number line to add this stuff up you will use that and then like where we're at now let's see where was there not a number line 
okay? We don't use a number line here. It's just to kind of get your brain going. Ooh, he skipped the page. That's okay, we'll do it. <laughs> but there is one here, like for the bigger numbers. I don't know why he skipped it or why he's doing his work in marker. How did I miss that? Look at this. He's so cute. <laughs> Like, I don't trip on little stuff like that. Eh, do whatever you want. <laughs> but yeah, they just gradually move you away from using a number line. You know, they're not just gonna give you a number line and then yank it away, you know, but it's like, it's, it's in steps. And that's one thing that I noticed right off with Horizon. It's a progression. It's spiral-based learning. And that's what I love so much about it. So anyway, and then I have the teacher book it's in black and white but they do give you the answers <laughs> yes sometimes mamas do want the answer for first grade math but what I like about it is they have these worksheets that's in the back um I've been ripping them out and copying them but this year I'm gonna treat myself <laughs> and order the actual worksheets so the same worksheets that come in the teacher's book they do have them um for purchase like individually so i didn't really like ripping them out and i'm just gonna treat myself and i'm just gonna get one pack of worksheets and just copy them for jerry and kelsey and then i'll do the same thing for elijah so you guys know we have been using um a reason for handwriting so this year i decided to go with horizon so i bought the complete set and I'm typically not a complete set type of girl. I like to buy curriculum in, you know, pieces. Like, oh, I'm going to take this from here and I'm going to take that from there and that from there. But this year I was like, you know what? I like everything that they had in the set. And everything I'm showing you right now is in the set. So anyway, um, I decided to go with their penmanship book this year. What I like about them, um, a reason for handwriting does the treehouse writing um letter formation which was cute but my kids still like huh what roof what you know so let's try the rocket ship i don't know if it's gonna work or not but um yeah this is like and i have paper you know that's going to match up with this now we've been using a reason for handwriting my children love absolutely love the kindergarten book they did it every single day i've never had a complaint with my kids doing handwriting but at the same time we do play that's when we do our gospel hour <laughs> i was telling my friend she was like how do you homeschool without your kids you know crying and giving you a hard time i said well because we start the day with handwriting and during handwriting, we're listening to our gospel music. You know, it's kind of uh, hard to be naughty when you got Ty Trippett screaming at you. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Anyway, so yeah, so we're gonna use there. But one thing that I do, now if you have a kindergartner, I absolutely recommend a reason for handwriting because you got these pictures that you can color on one side. My kids really look forward to that. Um but you know they're growing up so we're just gonna do first grade and then we're gonna try help y'all my kids i mean oh how cute you know what i just I, I flipped through some of the pages but i didn't know they had this kind of stuff in there and i saw this little thing on amazon like a model of a, a human body and i think i'm gonna go ahead and buy that and it talks about good food groups and things like that. And I definitely need that because Jeremiah struggles with fruit, food, um, like healthy meals. <laughs> I mean, he eats his fruits and vegetables, but sometimes I have to like cut up fruit for him at dinner because he doesn't, he only likes peas. What else? Now, last night he did eat green beans. You know, we, I mean, I don't know it's because he was so hungry, but it's been raining like crazy here. And then yesterday we were able to go outside and play. So we've been out on the playground for like two hours. So I made everybody's favorite meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and green beans. And he doesn't really like potatoes too much, but he ate it all. Everything on his plate. So, and I think like my husband likes those, not the French cut, the whole green beans. I don't know why, like I bought cut and he's like, can you buy whole green beans? I'm like, why? Like, anyway, but I bought... 
I know I'm crazy. So I did buy the whole green beans and I think I put like three or four on his plate and he actually ate them so but anyway so yeah so they got these cute fun little activities i like it because they got a lot of you know diversity i don't you know my kids i don't want them to um never see pictures of themselves that's just not gonna happen look at this this was so cute my kids would be like that's an emergency he needs more ice cream so <laughs> so we got the health book which i think is gonna be a lot of fun and then what else do i have oh more jordan and tiana with wordly wise and you know the best part of it i still have a teacher kit from when elijah was doing it so i have that and i got the oh the health teacher book and y'all i think that's everything so oh wait a minute i do have the let me go grab it you have um this is our group subjects that we're going to be doing together we have the second part of master books adventure um, adventures in the physical world last year we did adventures in creation i thought it was really cute it was kind of weird how they made adam and eve and cain and abel this cute little family cohesive union when we all know cain didn't like abel and they didn't like cain but anyway so this one centered around noah and his family so i think this should be very interesting um Speaking of which, I do need, this year, I decided, remember last year, I kind of, um, I did the binding myself, which was a complete nightmare. And I did not buy the workbooks for my kids. I did buy the PDF because, I mean, Jerry and Kelsey are not going to be able to read it. Elijah, he was struggling a lot more with his reading than he is now. But I still feel the print is too small for him. I don't know, maybe he could do that, but, um... Cause he reads Wendy Kids and all those books, so he might could read it. Like I may print him out his own copy, but last year, you know, especially with him struggling with reading the way he did, um, and Jaren Kelsey, <laughs> no. So I just bought the teacher, I mean the um PDF. I printed it out and I did the binding myself with this cute double O ring gold wire. But it was a hassle when it was time to um give the kids their little activity pages because you you do have little activity pages that they can color and you know just like stuff like this and so i need to make copies so what i have to do is i have to go and get the flash drive and plug it up and i mean because sometimes i was a naughty mama i didn't like get the stuff <laughs> printed out the night before because i'm watching snapped or something i don't know what i was doing anyway so i have to get up and scramble around and try to print copies and everything and i remember one day all the internet in the whole building was out and so I couldn't print and you know it's just so now I have this three ring binder which I think is going to be more accessible I can just open it up and just copy because I think this printer the little white one it'll work as just a printer but I also want an eco tank what do y'all think if you think I should get an eco tank let me know because my good printer the um what do you call that like a uh, laser printer it needs more toner you know it's almost a hundred dollars each four colors and then it doesn't last that long like it should so I've been buying knockoff brands and the knockoff brands sometimes they'll work and sometimes HP because they have like a little microchip HP can detect that it's um, a knockoff so at the worst possible time they'll shut it down but the company I've been getting it from they're really good about um, allowing I'm um, sending you a, uh, something in my eye uh, updated version of the toner for free so but I still think mm, I don't know so don't be surprised if you see an eco tank in my near future so these are group subjects okay so again this is going to be our science I need to start shopping for all the materials that's one thing that I do love about it, it it's going to show you everything that you need and uh, let me see where yeah like this I love that also I'm going back and forth with myself if we're going to do art and by art, it is through Master Books. I like Master Books a lot. So I'm thinking about it. So don't be surprised if you see another video with us doing art. And then we're going to continue with Bible Truths 1. We didn't get through the whole thing. But I do know one thing. My children absolutely love Bible. They get so excited. 
they all get their blankets and i mean bible class is like 20 minutes but <laughs> they get their pets jerry always grabs his graham crackers and they're ready to sit and listen but i do um read like from a bible story video so you know i'm sorry bible story book and then sometimes we'll watch the super book that corresponds with it and last but not least song school spanish we will be doing spanish this year pray for me we're all going to be learning this because i never took spanish in school i always took um i took french but i never took spanish so i'm really excited about that um my next video is going to be elijah bear's third grade curriculum i don't really have all that stuff together right now also i'm kind of debating what i want to do about history we're doing here to studies three this history curriculum is the absolute truth i'm not going to get too much into it right now because that's going to be another video when we get all of the third grade books out but i want to just say if you are apps if you're looking for a history curriculum don't let people scare you about bju I'm sorry, there's like about BJU. I have it in my possession. This is not hearsay because it's so many people have so many things to say about BJU and their history. And I'm like, do you have it? No, you don't. You're going off of hearsay. I have it in my possession. <laughs> anyway, so I'm debating if that's gonna be a group subject or not. It is gentle, but it's real. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for allowing me this opportunity to talk to you guys, guys about what my kids are doing and everything. So until next time, bye.